following rant may cause you to pull your hair out, scream at the radio, punch the dashboard. Complaints should be addressed to Loudmouth Yambag at rock107.com. Hey, I'm Rock 107's Prospector, and here's what's got me jacked. I saw this headline recently in the Citizen's Voice. Wilkes-Barre boosts pay for summer jobs, gets more applicants. Yeah, no duh. Look, you've been hearing it all over for the past 18 months or so. Business owners, managers, bosses, etc. will say, I can't get people to work. No one wants to work anymore. Eh, wrong. No one wants to work for what you're offering in compensation anymore. That's the right statement because this headline proves it. You pay more, you get more people. You offer better benefits, you raise wages, you treat people better, you don't expect them to have no life and just work for you, and you get more applicants. The tide is turning in this little capitalist experiment in a way that it hasn't since maybe the organized labor movement of the Industrial Revolution. Long gone are the days where you can afford to offer minimum wage and demand overtime and a for-the-company attitude. It seems that during the pandemic, many people started to think, what am I working for? Fewer and fewer people in this country want to live to work, and more and more of us want to work to live. Find that balance that allows us to make a living, yet spend time doing the things we love with the people we love. And I say that's probably a good thing in the long term. Yeah, it hurts like hell for many businesses right now, but I believe we have to do something to swing this pendulum back the other way a bit. Because since the mid to late 70s, that pendulum's been swinging away from unions and labor and the like, and firmly towards the sides of rich capitalists and business owners. So maybe, maybe it's about time all that potential energy that's been hanging out on their side turns into kinetic energy in the opposite direction. You still think no one wants to work? Then why is the side hustle, the gig economy, and employment in that industry grown about 30% in recent months? There's a saying in corporate America. People leave people, not organizations. And yeah, that's true. Better bosses keep more people, treat employees better, offer them a little more money, more benefits, flexible work hour, work from home if you can, listen to them, create a culture that benefits both of you and not just the company, and you'll keep more people and you'll hire better ones. Or, you know, keep bitching that no one wants to work 79 hours a week for eight bucks an hour. Again, no duh! People want jobs where they can make a living, feel respected, and still see their friends and families and live their lives. If your job doesn't offer that, it's not that no one wants to work. It's that no one wants to work for you. I'm Prospector. I'm for the people. Who's with me? I gotta, 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 gotta go crazy, man! Ever see the crazy guy screaming at the wall outside the Times building? Where does this rage come from, my son? Tweet us with... Hashtag, I found Prospector, and we'll come and get him. Prospector, mornings on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.